How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be uh, starting the very first segment, uh, well very first video in our advanced series segment and we're going to be going over cooldowns. So we're going to be looking at uh, adding cooldowns uh, we're just going to simply do it when a player places, um, when they place a, a diamond block, we're just going to make it something really simple like that. Obviously you can make, use this cooldown method uh, for any, any, anything. There is a million things you could use cooldowns for. So, um, we're going to be doing, and I think what is an, a, you know, an economically friendly way, uh, doing it in the least amount of code as possible, because that's kind of what you want to code all your plugins in. You want them to take up the least amount of line space as possible. Uh, obviously, the more dense your code, the more it has to read, the more it has to load. So we're going to try to keep this really simple. So um, once again, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. Uh, there's actually going to be a different link, so that might, reminds me I'm going to have to make a different graphic. So hopefully I remember to do that. And yeah, so let's get started here. We're going to, like I said, we're going to do it on a block place event. So we're going to go ahead and say event handler public void. Uh, block place block place event event and once again uh, I'm not gonna be going over some more of the simple things like you always make sure you have event handler setting up the plugin um, if you guys aren't aware of any of that there are lots of useful tutorials on YouTube where you can go over that kind of stuff and obviously I do have my own tutorials here on this channel um, that go over that stuff um, so we're just gonna be dealing mostly with the methods and the code that um, you really need not all the back-end stuff so right, so we're doing it on a block place event, but for this block place event, we need, um, well, we need a couple things. We're gonna need a runnable, and we're also going to need some hash maps, uh, which we're, we're where we can store the player. So what we're going to do is we are going to create, uh, oops, we are going to create this hash map right inside of our main class. So uh, we are going to call it uh, uh, time or CD time for cooldown, and this is going to be. Oh, I did that totally wrong. We have to declare what it is first, uh, and this is going to be UUID and an integer, and then the. And then we're going to say equals new. Hash map of UUID integer, and then we'll just finish it off there. All right, and now we'll be able to call this uh, in our events class here. Uh, I don't remember the exact reason why I call my main class like this. Uh, there was a specific reason. Uh, I had a problem with getting certain things uh, to load properly, um, so I just started doing it this way, and it worked works pretty well I haven't had any issues with it I'm sure like I said there's a much better way to do it this is just the way I've always done it well not always this is just the way I've sort of recently started doing it because it works really well and I still get access to the plugin stuff and stuff in my main class all right and also what we want to do here is we are going to we need uh, basically a runnable that's always going to be running more or less so we're gonna get rid of this well, we're going to keep that low config because we're also going to, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're going to make it so the cooldown continues uh, even after the player has left the server. Um, so we're just going to get rid of this on disable here because we don't really need that uh, disable message here. And we'll keep the low config there and we will create a new public void runnable runner. We'll just call it runnable runner. <laughs> um, it's exactly what it's going to be. And we're going to create a new uh, bucket runnable. A new bucket runnable. And that should give us the option to import. And add on implemented methods. And we want a run task timer. And we want this. We want a delay of zero. We don't want any delay. And it's going to run every single second. 
Now you can change this to be whatever you want it to be, um, but we're gonna be taking one tick off of our integer here every time that the runnable runner is run. And it's gonna start on enabled. So we're going to say for player player equals uh, well we can say this dot gets well we can't say this sorry because we're inside the runnable so we're gonna say uh, bucket dot get server dot get online players and then we will have that and then we'll go uuid uuid equals player dot get uuid well get unique id and then we're going to say if cd time oops oh, we're missing a we want this there so if cd time dot or actually we don't want to say if cd time uh let me think about i'm um, like i said uh, i'm doing this on the wing or on the fly here so let's see if we are putting them in a hash map and we want to run through everyone who's in the hash map um we don't want to do get online players because not everybody's necessarily going to be in this so we want to say uh, CD time and I believe this is going to be uh, dot get there's a way I can get key set there we go and now we need uh, UUID and UUID well I guess I guess we could have done it the other way too um, the way I was originally going to do it, we could have searched through all of the um, players online and then, you know, if there are UIDs and uh, CD time, then we could do that. But this is much easier. So we want to go ahead and say CD time dot get and we want to get the UID. And I think so it's going to be an int uh, time left equals, there we go. And we want to go ahead and say time left minus one. Well, actually we can go ahead and say cd time dot put UID time left minus one go ahead and say that um, so what we're doing right now is I think I got this all set up correctly is we are creating a runnable and on that runnable we are saying for all the UI UUIDs inside of our hash map we are going to get that UUID and we're going to get the integer which is the time left and then we are going to CD time dot put UID time left minus one. Uh, what we really should do too, just in case, is we should go ahead and remove this UID and then re put them back in. Uh, and then we will actually say if CD time dot is empty, oops, no, is empty return. Because we don't want it to run through something if there's nothing there. And I just gotta that is empty. I'm not sure why that did I spell it wrong? I probably spelled it wrong. Alright, so we're also checking every single time if it's empty, we're just going to return because if it's empty, uh, we don't want to do anything. Alright, so now it's going to set it out. Uh, let's refix this. Um, but I also mentioned how we're going to be using our config here so we also have to make sure that on our enable we add players to to the config so this is going to be what do we want uh, uh, I guess we could just say UUIDs um, I guess we don't really need UUIDs we can just go ahead and do this we can go ahead and load configuration here we'll just do it right here since it's right here we might as well just do it all in this load config here we can say plugin dot git oops this dot git 
config. I don't know where my mind is gone. Git config dot git string. Well, we're gonna need to do four. Well, I guess we don't. I guess well, we could do it on our enable. Um, we really should go ahead and do it on a uh, player join. So public event handler event handler public void on join player join event event and all right so let's set this up first before because i'm confusing myself but i realized what i need to do so we're going to say if so we need to go block block equals event dot not minus equals event dot get block and then we're going to go ahead and say player player equals event dot get player let's import these uh, org dot bucket dot block 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 too many blocks and then we're going to say if block dot get type dot equals material dot diamond we're going to go ahead and say plugin dot cd time dot put player dot get unique id and our cooldown, uh, we should set a public variable here just so we have one. We're gonna say public uh, master CD. Oh, well, we need to make, let it know that's an integer. And it's going to be 20 seconds. That works. Uh, it's gonna be going off every second. So we need to go ahead and say equals 20. So master int is going to be plugin dot master cd sorry master cd so we're going to put that in um okay so let's see so on block place and if it equals diamond we should probably say what it actually is and it is a diamond block not diamond because you can't place diamond we're going to put them into the cd and we also need to create a player quit event because that's going to be needed as well because uh, when they leave we want to make sure that we're saving them to the config here let's see how we're doing on time 12 minutes yeesh all right sorry about that so on leave we want to go ahead and say plugin dot get config dot set and we want to set we want to get the players uids we gotta go ahead and say player player equals event dot get player and we'll just fix this real quick there and then we want uuid uuid equals player dot i cannot type equals player dot get unique id and we'll import that for here so we want to go ahead and set uuid and then we want to add a plus and a dot and then we want to go ahead and say cool down underscore left and we will go ahead and get plugin dot get config and or no sorry we want to go ahead and get plugin dot cd time dot get uuid and it's going to return the integer value that we set right in here so um, as it's going through uh, runnable runner here it's going to be changing that uh, and I guess we should go ahead and say uh, if time left uh, if time left equals equal equals zero we can go ahead and say CD time dot remove UUID because we don't need them in there if they uh, I guess we'll keep this because we don't want to well, no, we'll remove it before we put them back in, too. Or, no, we can't remove them. Can't remove them. Don't remove them. Don't remove them. Don't remove them. I know I said remove them. Don't remove them. Um, all right, so we're removing them if their time equals zero. So when they're leaving the server now, it's going to set a config. It's going to set the config, their UUID, uh, plus the, the cooldown.left, and it's going to place this integer, whatever their time left is, and then on join, uh, we're just going to copy this because we're going to need the same exact thing here. We are going to plugin dot 
git config dot git. Uh, we want to git integer, and that is going to be UUID plus, and we will just get this. Excuse me, I just burped. And it's going to be that, and that's going to be that integer. We'll just call this end cd time. And then we'll go ahead and say plugin dot cd time dot dot put and we want uid and cd time and also when they leave we want to make sure that we're going plugin dot cd time dot remove uid because we want to make sure that we remove them every single time that they leave the server so that way we don't have a giant hash map for no reason so we also want to do one more check right so we want to say if cd time Oh, well, plugin if cd time plugin dot cd time dot contains UUID. So we want to say if it does not contain UUID, we can go ahead and run this code. But we don't have UUIDs. So we're going to go ahead and say UUID UUID equals player dot get unique ID. And now UUID should work, and we are just going to change this down here to UUID. All right, so I believe we got everything in place. We're just going to throw an else statement here. We're going to say else uh, player dot send message. You let's do check color dot red plus you still have. We'll do a space plus. Uh, plugin dot get or plugin dot cd time dot get uuid plus uh, actually I want to do another plus right here because I want to go check color dot yellow uh, plus cd time okay so plugin dot cd time I'm going to go ahead and say seconds left until or seconds and then we want to Space plus check color dot red plus seconds left till you can place diamond blocks. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a, a whirl here. We can go ahead and see if it works right off the bat. I can already tell you that it's not going to because we. Uh, do not have a method to um, call our uh, events class.